have everybody here today and to see so many smiling faces. And we've got good weather today, so everybody should be extra fast. We have a few announcements. Um, uh, the first thing is to say thank you. Thank you to everybody here. Um, everybody who has registered just by registering, you help support um, Special Olympics and by fundraising, you help support. We thank you, thank you all. We hope you have a great time. And remember, when it's done here, there's food and there's awards. So stick around and have some fun. We have some pretty cool prizes. You gotta hang around to get them. So you gotta be pleasant to win. Um, and we have, a, there, I would like to begin this um, by asking uh, uh, Ben and Tim Mallard um, to say a few words about uh, their mom, Lynn, and, um, and then follow that with a moment of silence. So if you would just hang on one second, I'm going to pass this over to Tim. Morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but we just wanted to say thanks and uh, give a moment of silence to our mom, Lynn, who for a number of years helped organize this race, uh, kind of created it. was a small town race, as some of you may know. It was very small and kind of over the years helped develop it into the race you see today. And so we'd just like to give a moment of silence to thank our mom, Lynn, uh, for all she did for anybody in the town. So if you'd just join us in that, that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you, and I know that Lynn's energy is part of the oh event God. today, oh and it's God. certainly here in this event in her sons, Tim and Ben. No. So, um, I'd just like to take a minute to talk about the course because the course looks just a little bit different this year. There's a lot of construction going around in Pella. And so one of the things you're going to notice is there is a brand new traffic circle there as you come around here and go into the traffic circle. Uh, it's a roundabout. Roundabout, traffic circle, potato, potato. And it's got curbs, so be careful. We have some cones out there. We have three people going, look out, watch out, go this way. So just watch your footing, okay? And especially if you've got a running carriage, just watch out because the curbs are kind of high and there's some corners sticking out. There's going to be plenty of police throughout the course. There's plenty of people standing around giving directions, so you're never going to be at a loss for which way to go. Um, so you can spend all of your time concentrating on your, your time. Um, don't step up on any of the sidewalks. Just take a look. You know, be careful. There could be some gravel, some loose footing to the sides of the road, but the road's in good condition. Um, when you get to the round belt, just spread out. Go on each side. There's no traffic at all, so if you split off left and right, it will make it just uh, easier for everybody to get through that area. So pick a side that's closest to you and head that way. Uh, again, um, we, after the race, please uh, stay for refreshments and awards. We have a bunch of awards we'd really like to give out. Um, and just to review, even though we grouped you in these groups, your time will start when your foot goes across this start line. So for each and every one of you, it'll be a different start line. Your timing tag is in your number, so it'll just start as soon as you go across that start line. I'm going to say runner set. And then he's going to blow this horn. When he blows that horn, that's when you start running. Hopefully he doesn't blow it in my ear. I think that's it. Is everybody ready?
25k road race. I just finished. I don't know my time yet, but I will find out that as soon as I can. I will report back to you and let you know how I did. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And my name is Kevin McCullough. I guess. And how long have you been doing the color 5k? Um, my third year now. I mean, what? Well, yes. I've been special in this for 20 years. This is all. This is Jody said. Our coach Jody Mitchell said that I've been on the team for 20 years. I'd like to mention all the volunteers. And I and, and got a, one, a wonderful job. He does a wonderful job oh, yes. on our TV show. And I'd like to I'd like to thank Miss people coach like has, I'd like to thank like people like Coach Lord and help out and behind Jeff. the scenes and Chip to help behind the scenes. And I'd he like and Mary. I'd like to say a the special coach, thanks to Subway and, and coach, the soul and Coach uh, Jody. Soul. Guys. And Coach Doty who runs the award ceremony yet, every year. Woo! And this is amazing. The turnout All right, is listen, amazing. You know what? While we're standing uh, around waiting for the... Um... So, I'd like to thank Norm and Colleen and everybody that worked with the committee. Every year this race, I remember the first year that I got involved with it, there were maybe 100 people that showed up. And every year this race just gets bigger and better and it's because of their hard work and all the people that work with them on the committee. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And for everybody else that showed up, for all your support, especially the uh, athletes from Pelham High, um, fundraising and all the stuff you do, thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, your guys' fundraising will help fund sending Chris to national games. It helps us buy equipment. It helps us uh, get gym space. It helps buy new uniforms. And it's very important. Uh, and I really sincerely appreciate all the work you guys do. is we have 38 fundraisers for this event this year. So that's a lot of dough. It looks like right now we might be over the $8,000 mark in just fundraising. Not not even counting the registration. So let's hear it for the fundraisers here in this crowd. Thank you so, so much. Um, we, um, the way we're going to construct this, just so you know, is we're going to give prizes to overall first, second, and third place, male and female, rather than all these kids who are here today. Without you guys coming together every year and showing up and racing and having a good time and fundraising, a lot of the stuff we do, we couldn't do. Because everything that National Special Olympics does in coordination with Pelham and Hollis and all the other uh, residents that whose, whose children and young adults join our group, um, we all do that from volunteerism and donations. So while I'm talking about volunteerism, I just want to encourage you, if you think this is fun, then you should show up sometime at track and field practice or basketball practice or swimming practice or any other of them. I know that there's a lot of talented people in this group, and we are always looking for volunteers. The pay for volunteers is joy, and we have endless amounts of that to give if you have a little bit of time to give. So if any of you feel that you have it in your heart to volunteer either for a day's event, or maybe you think you can help somebody learn to play soccer or swim or play basketball or anything else, any of those sports, if you're living that side in the center and it kind of shows you all the sports we do, we would love to have your help. So you can come see me or see Pete. And you know what? I think one thing that is really important for us to talk about here is the fact that most of our sports that we do at National Special Olympics, we do as unified sports. Unified means if we have a basketball team, we have equal numbers of kids who have kids and young adults who have a developmental challenge along with typical populations who don't. And we play together as one, as one team. So not only are we growing athletes in Special Olympics, but we're growing mentors. And everybody gets something really good out of it. So maybe you want to play on a team. So consider it. We'd love to have you. Um, how we do 
Now this is a challenging name and I'm going to do my very best. Female overall second place, Shailen Marie Herring. Did I do it? Yeah! Shailen with 20.38 for her time. Shailen 16. Watch out. Congratulations. And third place, female division, Sarah Coliani. Sarah Coliani, Sarah, here she is. I'm so glad everybody's sticking around for these prizes. Sarah, congratulations, Sarah's time was 21.20. And uh, did I say Moy's time was 18.10? Okay, make sure everyone gets a glass, take a glass. Okay, so now I'm going to recognize the uh, overall walkers for first, second, and third place, male and female. Overall walkers, first place, female, overall walker, Christina Sutherland. Christina Sutherland. Christina, where are you? Here she is. Congratulations, Christina. Thank you, Christina. It's time 32.51. So, Okay, so second place, female walker, Carolyn Doherty. Oh, hey, Carolyn. Yeah. Carolyn, all right. Good job. And second place, male walker, Michael Gisnaldo. Am I saying it right? Michael Gisnaldo. Yay, yeah, Michael. All right, come on down. Excellent. Okay, 
Okay. Um, third place, Walker, female, Carol Coliani. Well, the whole Coliani family is fast. They're so fast. Carol Coliani, where are you, Carol? Right here. All right, Carol, in pink. There's Carol right there. She needs a glass. Overall, male, first place, Walker, Ron Coliani. Keeping it in the family. Ron Coliani. Yay, hey, Ron. All right. Make way for Ron so you can get through. He's overall first place male walker, but um, we don't know how he is at climbing. Go on in there and pick a prize. Now listen, just so you know, there's prizes on the boards. There's Chunky's bags, and in these Chunky's bags is movie tickets and gift cards and candy and popcorn. Then there's also, we've got the, the boxes have the same thing, the same stuff, it just it looks like a candy box, but it's not a candy box, it's free movie tickets and stuff. And then we have bags with Dunkin' Donuts, Cups, or Starbucks, if you're of the Starbucks persuasion instead of the Dunkin' Donuts persuasion. Alright, so, since I like to honor my elders, I'm going to start with the uh, age 75 group. Yes, I Age 75 runners. Uh, or age 70 to 99, I should say. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to actually say the actual age. In the age 70 to 99 group, male is Russell Ober. Russell Ober. Congratulations, Russell. Air Force Vet. Vietnam Vet. Thank you, Russell. Thank you for your service and good job today. With a time of 3101. Female, age 70 to 99, and I'm not telling the name, the age, but I'll tell you the name. It's Julia Dollinger. Julia Dollinger. Julia, where are you? Julia. Come on, Julia, you ran this far. Run up here. Do we have Julia? I can hang out with Megan. So you don't want to go Julia Dollinger, if you're here, raise your hand so I know you're coming up. Well, we don't have, we don't have it. You know, I'd give you the second place in this category, but there isn't one. <laughs> Okay, we'll do one more in this category, then we're going to work the other way. So, uh, number one, male age group 60 to 69, Tim Dolan. Tim Dolan. Tim, where are you? All right, Tim. Congratulations, Tim, with a time of 23-23. Excellent. Congratulations. And female at this age group, 60 to 69, Regina Malloy. Regina Malloy. All right, Regina, congratulations with a time of 32 12. Oh, you guys are leaving already? Sarkia, Sarcia, do I have a right? Sarcia, Bob, 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 hey, Bob. Congratulations, number one in his division. We do not have a lady in the 70 to 99 Walker division, so we'll skip that and we'll go to the top female in the age 60 to 69 division. It's Linda Baker. Linda Baker. Mother of Tim. Congratulations, Linda, with a time of 44 30. Okay, so um, male age group 60 to 69 Walker. Number one is Michael Gesnaldo. Michael Gesnaldo with a time of 36 12. Michael, are you here? Michael Gesnaldo. Looking for Michael Gesnaldo. All right, and uh, female. 
age group 50 to 50. Oh, hold on one sec. Uh, female. <laughs> female age group 50 to 59 running. For the time of 2611 is Kara Jean Donahue. Kara <laughs> Jean. All right, congratulations. And male, and male age group 50 to 59 for the time of 2349. You're excited, aren't you, Russ? Is Sean Harrington. Sean Harrington, where are you? Raise your hand, Sean, so I know you're here. Female runners age 40 to 49. Number one in your division with a time of 21-24 is Katie Creer. Katie! Katie Creer! Katie, where are you? Raise your hand so I can see ya. Katie Creer. Right, so a uh, female age group, Walker, 40 to 49, Rachel. Forgive me for this one. Mark your book. Mark your birth, Rachel. Tell me how to say your name. Oh, Markerbrook, I said it right. Rachel Markerbrook, all right, Rachel. 32, 48 was Rachel's time. Male age group walker, 40 to 49, Joseph Coster, Joe. Joseph Coster, Joseph, where are you? Yeah. Joseph Coster, yeah! Come on up. Which day? Which day? And by the way, times are posted. That, all right, coming back to runners, male age group 40 to 49, Rick Gomes. Rick Gomes, overall male age 40 to 49. Congratulations, Rick. Your time is 20:39. Female age group 30 to 39. Overall number one in this age group, Erin Campbell. Erin. Erin, congratulations, Erin, 22.53. And male, 30 to 39 age group, number one, David Manazic. Did I say it right? David Namazic. David. David. David Namazic. All right, congratulations, David. Time for 18.40. And just all the times are back here. You can, I think they're on the table actually now. They're on the table, so if you want to check out your top 30 to 39 age group, number one, David Manazic. Did I say it right? David Namazic. David. David. David Namazic. All right, congratulations, David. Time for 1840. And just all the times are back here. You can, I think they're on the table actually now. They're on the table, so if you want to check out your time, we're going back to Walker's here. Awesome. Justice says, They are rocking over there. Woo. All right, back to Walker's female age group, 20 to 29. The number one Walker is Sarah Coliani. What a beautiful Walker, Scotty. Good job. She's also number one in her age group. So, Sarah, if you want to come up and get another prize, you can go. Boy, the Coliani coming in is fast. And the male age group, top. One way to mom. 20 to 29 is Tim Mallard. Tim Mallard, you're also topping your age group, Tim Mallard. Tim Mallard, you're also topping your age group, dude. If you want to come up and get another price, come up here and show your pretty face. Tim Mallard, number one age, 2029. 20, Tim's time was 17, 16. Christina Sutherland, number one, age 20 to 29. So Christina, if you're still here, you want to, and if we have more prizes, I'm going to go to second and third. So if you feel good enough to hang around. Um, and male age group, 20 to 29. We have a lot of... Walker, Tim Baker.
Baker. Tim Baker. Where are you, Tim? Tim. Tim is our fix-it guy. He's never without a pocket knife and a roll of duct tape. Congratulations, Timmy. Thank you. Male age group 15 to 19, number one roll. It's Brian Doherty. It's Brian Doherty. It's Brian. Brian, you can get another prize if you want because you want a new division. We have a bouncy house if you haven't seen it. Runners male age group 15 to 19 to number one is Bryce Blanchard. Bryce, Bryce, who is number two overall winner male, number one in his division. He had a time of 17.59. And male yeah. age group 14 and under, number one runner, Alec White. Alec White, I'm Alec, are you here? <laughs> Alec, oh my. Congratulations, Alec. Alec had a time of 1905. Thank you. Female age group Walker, number one in her division, Carolyn Doherty. Those Doherty's, they're fast too. Congratulations, Carolyn. All right. I'd like to recognize a few more fundraisers because fundraising is so very important. And then we'll start going back to second and third placers. So fourth place fundraiser who raised five hundred dollars for Nashua Special Olympics is Mr. Brian Doherty. Not only is he fast. But he gets money from people. He raised five hundred dollars. Come on over here, Brian. Let me recognize you for a minute. Come on over here. Come here with me. Brian goes to football to Pelham High. He's uh, helping to manage the Pelham High football team this year. He's, he's an athlete also on our basketball team for the last few seasons on the Mavericks. He's just an all-around good guy, and thank you for raising that money, Brian. Come on, bring it in. All right. Okay. And fifth place. Overall fundraiser for Nashua Special Olympics, she raised four hundred dollars. Miss Megan Dinsmore, come on up here, Megan. Woo! She's falling for me. Megan is an athlete at Nashua Special Olympics team. She she lives in Pelham. She graduated from Pelham High School. She plays for the Mavericks. She's killer on the court. And she's also, she also swims, and she's just an all-around good girl. Thank you so much for raising that money. Over in just fundraising for this year, $8,000 of fundraising. I'm just amazed. I think it's so wonderful. It's going to go a long way towards supporting the program that we have in Nashua. So... Uh, I'd like to recognize with another $350 raised is Nicholas Murphy. Nicholas, where are you, Nicholas Murphy? Nicholas Murphy. Thank you, Nicholas. Nicholas, come on up here. He's right here. Thank you so much, Nicholas, raised $350. And, um, and I'd also like to uh, recognize who raised $345, Mr. Scott McCullough. Scotty McCullough. Scotty McCullough, $345. Scotty, I have to tell you, he's been with the national program since it began. He uh, he is he has his own television show on local cable TV. In fact, his cameraman is right here taking uh, shots and video of this whole event. Scott, it's called Special Talk, and he interviews people every every week on his show. And he is uh, a politician, and he is an advocate and a global messenger for national for Special Olympics, and he serves as a board member for the state of New Hampshire for Special Olympics New Hampshire. Thank you, Scott. Good job. So for Walker, age 15 to 19, since I can't. Uh huh? 
This is a kick and a hold of Elena. It's Vanessa Wabel. Vanessa, are you here? Vanessa! Vanessa! Vanessa Wabel? Hi, Vanessa! Mary Garcia! Mary! Alright, listen, um, can you just clarify for me they're registered as runners? They're registered as walkers. They were flagged as runners. Hmm. All right, listen, we've just been told by the timing company that there are two names that were registered as walkers, but they flagged as runners. I, I know not walk, but we're going to recognize them right now. And I hope they're still here. One of They're both in the female age 50 to 59 group. One of them is Anne Dumont. Anne Dumont. Anne? Anne, are you here? Well, 20 to 29 female. So second place, 20 to 29 females, Christina Scaviola. Is there a Christina Scaviola? Christina, all right. Thanks for hanging around. You get a prize. And second place, well, Molly Jafarji, you already, you already got you. Let's see. How about male age group 15 to 19 runner second place, Matson Bradbury Cole. Madsen Gregory Cope. Oh. oh, hey, I want to just take a second and say second place walker, male, age 50 to 59, Richard Lannon. Richard Lannon. Second place female, age 50 to 59, oh, I think they would have called her Sharon Enos. I did, I already called them, so we'll... 30 of 39 second place runner, oh, Carrie Savignik. Amanda Mulder, oh, hold on. What have I got here? Oh, wait a minute. Wrong list. 30 to 39. Amanda Muldoon. Amanda Muldoon. The 2317, get a prize. Thank you, Amanda. Razors, raising $265. Vanessa Waymo. Vanessa, where are you? She left? Thank you, Vanessa, wherever you are. And raising $240. Josh Conroy. Josh is an athlete on our basketball team. He plays on the uh, Eagles now, I think. And on track and field and, and bowling and he's really involved in our program. How are we doing? Do we have, okay, raising $190. Scotty Justison. Thank you, Scotty. And for every other name I call, Colleen, for every other name I call when the prices are gone, they get a glass, okay? Um, raising a hundred and fifty dollars, Alex Petrovelli. Alex Petrovelli. Alex is on our ski team, and he's on the bowling team, and he's on the golf team, and a bunch of other things. Been around a long time. He drags his dad around everywhere. I didn't walk because I, actually I don't have you down here, Michael. No stuff. All right, raising uh, raising one hundred and ninety dollars as a team is Team Baker. Team Baker, which consists of Linda and Tim, they raised one hundred and ninety dollars for our program. Thank you, thank you. All right, so those are our teams, and uh, back to individuals. Raising one hundred and ten dollars, Chris Hall. Chris Hall raised one hundred and ten dollars for the program. Thank you, Chris. I walked the whole way. I walked the whole way. Excellent. $110. Raising $100 for Nashua Special Olympics. Mark Lassard. Mark, where are you? Mark, Mark, Mark. Mark, thank you, Mark. Mark is dad to Stephanie Lassard. Um, raising $100 for the program, Erin Campbell. Erin Campbell. Where's Erin? Right 